Mojix presents the first open item chain for the food industry. Meet our item, a king salmon caught in the open waters of Alaska. Within our chain, this salmon has its own universal ID, which can be associated with a lot number. Every time our salmon is packed, shipped or transformed and separated into parts, all the KDEs and CTEs are forever associated with this original ID. Ignoring the unaffected foods, recalls can laser in on exact items at lightning speed. How does it work? It's simple. With no more than a smartphone, the grower, fishery or first transformer creates an item at no cost. DCs, processors, wholesalers attach information to the salmon thanks to a digital link. This link helps stakeholders see the previous event before registering the new one. In turn, everyone benefits from the data collected with different degrees of privacy. There are no missing links. The data is reliable. Everyone's accountable. A facts-based traceability policy can now be enforced. Our open network is inspired by the existing GS1 GDSN, synchronizing data coming from multiple sources and acting as a global repository because food trade and its risks are global. The multi-tenant technical architecture hits the right balance between data privacy and data sharing. Its traceability and interoperability at no cost for the regulator and those who supply the data. And it's supported by all the organizations who create value-added services based on this data. Well, what happened to our King Salmon? Caught by a tiny local fishery, it was certified for global trade. Regulators now have free and direct access to data for problem resolution and rule enforcement. Liability-free food brands, QSRs, and retailers grow their customer loyalty and their price points. Research, knowledge, and financial industries use the data for commodity markets perspective analysis. And the open network welcomes all third-party vendors to build their solutions. The data fragmentation problem is solved. Every event is made relevant. Farm to fork is a reality. Item for food by Mojix. Now let's have a look. To create an item, nothing could be easier. Everything begins upon the collection of the item. We can scan the label of the crate and automatically create its birth certificate with the key data elements in the lot identifier. The information is ready to be printed with any low-tech equipment at hand. It can also remain virtual to be associated with a lot number. This universal ID is forever traceable by all the stakeholders who can continue attaching information to it throughout the supply chain. Now that the item is created, we're ready to ship it. We choose a destination and we scan the crates. With the ship module, the crates can be scanned by collecting their lot identifier via their label. The destination is recorded at every step of the distribution. This completes the shipping process. Now, let's see how we can identify an existing item. Again, a simple smartphone will do very well. We can trace our item all the way back to its origin. But we can also scan a processed item for transparency and recall purposes. The scan module can trace back to the list of ingredients and can help us find exactly where our item is coming from. Hence, we can trace back and isolate the faulty original ingredients in processed foods. I want to thank the FDA for putting together this traceability challenge because it takes more than a single company to solve this, uh, this problem. Companies will save money and save lives and give consumers that transparency that they've desired for so many years. Our solution is able to capture, stitch together, and expose unique critical tracking events via a simple intuitive cloud implementation. We create a network of platforms interlinked with a URL type of technology. Anyone can publish data, anyone can get data. This is the future of consumer safety and the future is happening now.